<laughs> Good evening, everybody. I just left my buddy's head stop at McDonald's. Grab a little bite to eat. And it got loud. Kids. Oh, well. I don't mind them. I was a kid, too. Uh, uh, so, how is everybody doing on this lovely lovely Wednesday evening uh, I didn't really eat much but I'm not really that hungry either days and cool nights that's pretty much what it's going to be here lately so I do want to ride in the morning so that means I got to put my at least put another layer on not like I want to but I don't think I have a choice we'll see how it is when I wake up in the morning <laughs> I tell you what though, it feels nice to be grabbing gears like that. Well, you're not grabbing gears, you're more or less kicking them. In a dump truck with a 10 speed, then you're grabbing. And I got one more gear to kick up. Yep. Still waiting for that phone call. I'm still remaining optimistic that the interview that I did go on was above par. Time will tell. Well, well I am going to keep my options open. Digging it, the dude in front of me is doing good. That's yeah, good clip. Yeah, I think uh, I'm thinking really nobody at the shop wants to watch me on your crew, so they stuff me in a truck by myself to escort the over the rim or but hey oh well it is what it is shouldn't have went there but I was just a little hungry so if you haven't uh, I haven't gotten a truck on the channel very much. I only did the one video on it. Uh, there, are, there would be videos to come up on it. Um, but I did have uh, an app I installed on my uh, my phone for uh, Ford. It's called Ford Pass. 
and uh, I went through all the prompts. I put the VIN number in like it wants me to. And uh, unbeknownst to me, my truck has a couple of recalls on it that have not been taken care of. One, I guess, is a door latch fault where the door might not latch all the way and could possibly come open while driving down the road. Another one has to do with, uh, I think it's a carpet and the aligner going into the B pillar of the truck, which could cause a fire. Now, people are probably like, well, you know, you got insurance, you know, if it catches on fire, you know, just let it go and this and that. Well, I look at it this way. Damn it, I like this truck. And I don't want it to go up in smoke already. I haven't quite fully enjoyed it yet. So, I plan on getting everything fixed next week. And, uh, making it better. The place, uh, yeah, here's another funny story. Now, the place I bought the, the truck from, I went there for an oil change. They said it's going to be like an hour, hour and a half wait. I'm like, you yeah, I'm not waiting. They had two vehicles there. I had to mean, it was like an hour, hour and a half. I'm like, no. Nah. I told the guy, I'm like, I'm not going to wait. I go, I've been sitting on my butt all day waiting for work to get done with. I don't want to wait any longer. So, he goes, well, what do you got? I go, I got an F-150 that I bought from you guys. And he's like, well, it's still going to be like an hour and a half wait. And I'm like, well, I'll just take it to the Ford dealership. He goes, sir, Vision doesn't have a Ford dealership. I'm like, really, dude? There's a Ford dealership down the road. Nice big blue lettering on the front. Shepard Ford. Kind of shiny. Can't miss it. And uh, he's like, well, well wait. I, I, you know, he just started mumbling that. And he was, like, by that time, my, uh, my level of dealing with stupid people has actually surpassed the limit. So I left. Then I went to Shepherd's. Got the truck. Got the oil changed with the proper filter and the proper oil. And the motorcraft. So. And you play stupid. I'll just go somewhere where I've been going for years and not had a problem. But I know, free oil changes for life with the vehicle. So, let's either pay the, the money for the oil change for my truck and not have to deal with stupid people, or get a free oil change and then have to deal with stupid people. And I think I might as well just pay for it. This guy does not want to do over 50. I really don't want to do over 45. Even though the sign about a three quarters of a mile back was 55. Oh well. It is what it is. People just don't pay attention. I have to deal with it in the morning. like you sounded beautiful so all right i'll catch you guys later for my one buddy there potato 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 bye